these are our mountain bees. The ones, the colony on the right is the colony that was caught at our house here on Little Grandfather Mountain. And they're doing well, they're very active. But the ones on the left, they're the spring mountain bees. That's the swarm that we called at our friend Jane and Ted's house on the next mountain over, and they are really, really active. So it looks like they've had a population explosion, and they are very, very busy. So this is the first pollinator plot that we planted this year. Uh, this Early in the spring, we had clover that was just coming up naturally. Um, there were some little purple flowers blooming in our neighbor's yard. I believe it's some kind of a mint that is uh, just a, a native plant to this area. And the bees were enjoying that. So we planted our buckwheat here. Roy just ran over it with the field cultivator, scratching up the dirt. Um, we seeded it out, broadcast seeded it. Um, very easy to plant, very inexpensive to plant. And it's come up nicely providing some flowers for our bees for forage right now. It is starting to go to seed, so we think that this plot is probably going to um, provide food for our bees for another couple of weeks. And once it all seeds out, we'll just run over it with the lawnmower, and it provides some good biomass uh, nutrients just right back into the soil. So um, this is our upper plot, our buckwheat, and we'll take you down and we'll show you the uh, lower one in just a few minutes. We're down here checking out one of our pollinator plots today. Uh, this one is about 250 yards uh, down from the plot of buckwheat that we have planted up our neighbor's house. And this is in the opposite direction down the power line right away. Uh, Roy came down here earlier with the tractor and the field cultivator and just kind of scratched up the ground a little bit. And we broadcast seeded uh, buckwheat and sunflower seeds and uh, then we came back with just a shovel and actually planted some sunflower and this is a very uh, wild natural area anyway uh, nobody lives down here so we have also Indian hemp that's been blooming that the honeybees really like there's Pennsylvania smartweed down here there's some mountain mint that the uh, honeybees are liking right now we have a bunch of blackberries that were blooming earlier. They bloomed out and actually the berries are out now. They just haven't turned ripe yet. They're still red. And uh, just all kinds of stuff that's blooming down here all throughout the summer. We have goldenrod that's on both sides of the power line right away that should be giving our bees a good source of nectar for the fall. So um, things are looking good down here. We do see evidence that some of the local deer have been down here munching on our plants and that's okay too because we like to uh, watch the deer. Last year we had a, a nice stand of sunflowers down here and we did see one of the local black bears sitting down here just in the uh, plot of sunflowers bending them over and just eating the heads off the sunflowers. Um, so we're planting not just for our pollinators but for the um, for the local local wildlife as well because we enjoy watching them too. So things are looking good down here. The buckwheat has started blooming a little bit. Um, so I think the bees will probably be moving from the plot up there to the plot down here as that one kind of blooms out uh, and this one gets started. Not sure what the sunflowers are going to do. The tallest ones now are about two feet tall and don't have any heads on them yet. So hopefully we'll get some sunflowers blooming here in a couple of weeks. We'll see. this is our flower garden that we planted last year with the pollinators in mind we've planted a bunch of perennials up here we've got our black-eyed Susans that are just about ready to bloom not quite a few of our daylilies are blooming and yes that is thunder that you hear we've got a thunderstorm that's brewing up on the mountain
Our bee bomb came back really well. Seen a few bumblebees on that, but no honeybees. Our coneflowers, we planted two or three different varieties of coneflowers. Just some Gerber daisies. And back over here in the back, we've got some gladiolas that are starting to bloom. I don't know if they're good for the um, pollinators or not, but I just like them. I think they're so pretty. So we planted some gladiolas.